For what purpose does the gentleman from Iowa seek recognition? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. This gentleman will suspend. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move to suspend the rules and pass Bill HR 5119, the Protect Small Business and Prevent Illicit Financing Act, as amended. The clerk will report the title of the bill. HR 5119, a bill to amend Title 31 United States Code to provide small businesses with additional time to file beneficial ownership information and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Iowa, Mr. Nunn, and the gentlewoman from Texas, Ms. Garcia, each control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Iowa. Mr. Speaker, I ask you to ask consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on this bill. The gentleman, uh, without objection. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, America's small businesses are the backbone of our economy. There are nearly 32.6 million small businesses operating in our country. And in my home state of Iowa, that makes up more than half of the small businesses, those in our Main Street and our hometown communities, and right at the storefront where Americans shop and spend their daily time each week. But these small businesses are under attack. From a federal bureaucracy in D.C. trying to burden them with red tape, and alarmingly, also from our adversaries overseas, specifically Chinese Communist Party entities that have infiltrated our country with shell companies that jeopardize our national security, violating our intellectual property laws, and hurting our economy, both local and globally. Recent reports suggest that the Chinese Communist Party has more than 40,000 shell companies operating in the United States today. They use these companies to launder money, peddle drugs, and collect sensitive information on our people and our nation. We cannot, we must not, and today we will not allow that to happen. In 2020, Congress passed the Corporate Transparency Act to shut down these illegal shell companies, but right now, Foreign-owned entities use these shell companies and exploit a loophole in this law by checking a box on the required form claiming that they don't know who owns the company, which of course, as we all know, both Republican and Democrat, is completely absurd. Once enacted, our bipartisan Protect Small Business and Prevent Illicit Financing Activity Act will finally close this loophole and will also reduce the burdensome red tape for the legitimate American businesses who are trying to do that which they have done so well for so long, serve our hometown communities. First, these shell companies will no longer be able to exploit the system by selecting unable to obtain or unable to identify, basically saying we don't know who owns us when reporting their ownership information. By removing the option to basically claim the abstentia when it comes to ownership, we can crack down on the Chinese Communist Party's economic incursion into the United States. Not only will this bipartisan bill help crack down on Communist China, it will also make it much easier for legitimate American small businesses to comply with the law, no longer putting them at a detriment to their overseas competitors. Small businesses already face unique challenges in this economy. Brutal inflation, a struggling supply chain, and a bureaucracy based right here in D.C. that's intent in burying them on red tape, making them do far more work than what adversary-owned entities or foreign-owned companies do right now. Not to mention most operate with limited resources, and that's on a good day. This bill will reduce the government-imposed burden by ensuring small businesses have sufficient time to satisfy the request for information when the government fixes this egregious loophole. Bottom line, my friends, the passage of this legislation is a critical step forward by preventing our adversaries in the Chinese Communist Party from exploiting our laws and engaging in illicit activity while also reducing the burden of red tape on new and existing small businesses. In closing, I would like to thank my colleague from Ohio, Ms. Beatty, and the ranking member of the National Security and Illicit Financing and International Financing Institution Subcommittee for helping champion this and being a co-lead on this important legislation and my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. With that, Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleagues to support this bill, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. The gentlelady from Texas is recognized. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentlelady is recognized. 
I rise in support of H.R. 5119, the Protect Small Businesses and Prevent Illicit Financial Activity Act, sponsored by the gentleman from Iowa, Mr. Nunn, along with the gentlewoman from Ohio, Ms. Beatty. In 2021, Congress enacted the Corporate Transparency Act, or CTA, establishing America's National Beneficial Ownership Registry. This registry will start collecting information from applicable businesses and their beneficial owners on January the 1st, 2024, and will crack down on the anonymous shell companies used by terrorists, drug cartels, and other financial criminals. The collection of information on beneficial owners of certain corporations, limited liability companies, and other entities registered in the United States will help protect our financial system from illicit use by making it even more difficult for bad actors to disguise their financial activities through entities with complex ownership structures. This bill will offer reporting businesses additional time to file their CTA information, pushing back a handful of deadlines in the September 2022 final rule on this issue. Additional time, especially for small, newly formed businesses, would improve the accuracy of the registry and streamline our law enforcement efforts. I am pleased to support this bill that will assist with the development of America's sorely needed beneficial ownership registry. Mr. Speaker, at least 30 countries already have some kind of central beneficial ownership registry to improve transparency. It is about time we start our own program, but we need to do it right and do it the right way and give small businesses ample time to file their information accurately. I urge my colleagues to support this bill and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentlelady reserves. The gentleman from Iowa is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would just inquire if my friend, the gentlewoman from Texas, has any additional speakers or whether she is prepared to close. Yeah, we're prepared to close. No additional speakers. Mr. Speaker, I reserve. The gentleman reserves. The gentlelady from Texas is recognized. I, Mr. Speaker, I have no further speakers, and I'm prepared to close to the gentleman from Iowa has no further speakers, which he said he doesn't. Uh, so I will yield the balance of, of the balance of my time to myself. Uh, the bill will improve the implementation of a registry that will provide much needed transparency into business ownership and ultimately help deter bad actors from abusing our financial system providing our nation's small businesses with sufficient time to comply with a CTA will help FinCEN to develop an effective and meaningful registry. I again thank Representative Nunn and Ms. Beatty for championing this important issue and urge my colleagues to support this bill. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlelady yields. The gentleman from Iowa is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. First, I want to say thank you to members on both sides of the aisle. The House Financial Services Committee has led strongly in making sure that the backbone of our economy, our small businesses, everyday Americans, and the economy of this country can remain stronger. With the passage of this bill, we not only fight for the Main Street of America, but we also ask that those who would do business in the United States be held to the same standard. As was highlighted by the gentlewoman from Texas, whether you're a terrorist entity, whether you're a laundering agency from overseas, whether you're the Chinese Communist Party, no longer will you be part of this myriad of 40,000 entities trying to operate with impunity in the United States. We will hold you accountable. We will move forward to support those Americans who are doing it the right way. And most importantly, we will stand strong for our national security. Mr. Speaker, it is a privilege to move this bill on a bipartisan path with this House in the interest of the American people. And so there, I would urge my colleagues to support this legislation, which I am proud to lead, and yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass Bill H.R. 5119 as amended? Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended.